Well, it started off with cannabis. Um, the trigger was my children going into care. Um, absolutely devastated me. Amphetamine, ecstasy. Um, with the cannabis, I use more bongs, do we call them? Basically, I'm drinking at the same time completely. I was out of control off my head. I was sleeping with you, and you just a fiver bag. Um, but then that didn't, it got rubbish. I weren't feeling it, so I turned to heroin. He, he never has assaulted me, but I'm afraid that he could just do. So I can't take that risk. I'll make him a hot drink and I'll, I'll make him something to eat and I, I unlock the door and give it to him at the door. And I think, how awful is that? I'm his mother. But yet I can't unlock the door of many men. I just can't. Due to the addiction, um, I lost my friends. Basically, I, I had nothing to live for. I just lived for drinking. Do a bit of work drinking, but at the same time, I was also gambling as well. It's just like, I had no morals, you know, like no friends, no nothing. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I can't seem to stop myself. It's like I've got these, this voice in my head that says, you need to do it, you need to do it, you need to do it. But I'm on the other side and I'm fighting this, this voice in my head that's telling me to do this. And it's really, really difficult. God, well, why, why, why do you blame everyone else? It was you, no one forced you to put that money in that machine. You did that, don't blame everyone else and they won't take responsibility. And it's, it's hard being in a relationship like that because every day is a new battle. I am... Um... I lost my big brother. Nearly four weeks ago. That was it then. I just didn't care. I was dealing drugs, ended up in prison. I attempted suicide laying under a trip railway bridge so no one could find me. It's shameful. I've been to prison twice. Because I stole. My dad wrote me a letter. When I was when I was in prison, he said that I was that I was ashamed of me. Because you feel is he like that because it's something I've done? Or something I've not done? I haven't got the answer. No matter what you do or say, you can't win. And the sad part is, is that in gambling, nobody does win, except for the casinos and the bookies. It, it, it's quite frightening how available it is and how easy it is to get. Um, but when you've not got the money, that's when the difficulties come. I think I've got something like 26 offences and I'm only 31. You know, burglary, theft mainly. All because I'm greedy and I wanted more. And now I'm on methadone and I do a lot of groups, a lot of groups. I've had to. If I don't do something nearly every day, I'm scared of what I'll do. That if I don't do something every day, I know I'll either end my life <laughs> or I'll go back onto drugs. And I don't want either. I don't want either. And it's very, very hard as a mother to understand why. <sighs> Being really blunt, I think I'd have committed suicide a long time ago. I really couldn't murder a drink. But that way, it won't make keep running. It won't make them better. But I have every faith that 
one day, maybe not in the next year, maybe not in the next 20 years, but one day, he won't ever do it. Thank you.